I'm James Briarton. and we have a chance of severe weather for Monday, March the 31st. Let's take a look. As you can see, the Storm Prediction Center has issued an enhanced tier three out of five risk for much of the Carolinas. You can see nearly all of North Carolina and South Carolina is in the orange there. And that's because there is a 10% chance of seeing a tornado almost everywhere, excluding the western North Carolina mountains, where the risk is closer to 5%. Almost everyone also has a 30 to 45% chance of seeing damage winds from a thunderstorm. So even if the winds are not rotating like a tornado, you could still have straight line winds that could cause damage throughout much of the Carolinas. We even have a bit of a hail risk between 5 and 15 percent in North and South Carolina. Let's show you what this looks like on a future cast. Beep, 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 beep. Take a look at this. This is the future cast. You can see that strong line of storms moving through portions of Kentucky and Tennessee during the overnight hours. And as we get into early on Monday morning, here's 8 a.m., you can see the line approaching the mountains starts to break down. That will regenerate as we get closer to the heating of the day, but continue to look at what's coming out of Alabama and Georgia. And as we advance closer to midday, you can start to see that line approaching Atlanta and a few more strong storms starting to get going now over portions of western North Carolina. As we get to four or five o'clock in the afternoon, you can see that line is approaching the I-77 corridor from Roanoke, Virginia, through portions of Winston-Salem, Statesville, Charlotte, down through Rock Hill and approaching Columbia. This will be coming out of the Augusta area here just around the time of that Monday evening rush hour. We'll approach it a couple more hours into the future by 8 p.m. We're starting to lose the heating of the day. You can see that strong line of storms now moving through North Carolina's Triangle region, through Fayetteville, down towards Myrtle Beach and brushing through Charleston. We will then Watch that line weaken a little bit as it heads into eastern North Carolina, depending on exactly how much energy it still has left over after sunset. We'll still be watching for that severe threat throughout the day until this eventually moves out to shore. And that's why the National Weather Service's Storm Prediction Center has issued that enhanced risk tier three out of five throughout much of the Carolinas. Stay subscribed for updates as this develops throughout the day on Monday. We will be streaming live severe weather warnings, sky cams, and radar over on our YouTube channel. You can check that out under the name Carolina. Weathernet. For now, from Charlotte, I'm James Briarton. Be safe and be well.